what up my peeps how's it going today we're gonna be talking about weaver pv builds gameplay if you want to check out the uh, video about the actual build so like what what specs you, you choose and so on uh, i'll leave a link in the description down below uh, and this uh, is basically just going to cover the rotations and some of the gameplay of the weaver build i explained in the other video and uh, basically this was a request by Kra Razor Plays so thank you very much for your request dude uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps as well like the, this is this is the way I play Weaver there's many ways to play it there's some trade-offs and uh, basically yeah some pros and cons of using this build so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon So what I usually do is swap to the raptor as, as close as I can to the fight. And yeah, the, the engage is really nice with this build because it joins everybody together and you can just apply all the CC together uh, right away to control the mob. Um, not every time do I start with the, this sort of combo, but it's really nice, yeah, like uh, keep earth and fire there so you can keep them away, put a wall down. Swap to air, to air so you can get that triple, uh, that dual combo going on. And then, yeah, just keep on using all the dual combos as you can. Keep on putting out CC. Um, and yeah, use the sword if you see there's a lot of mobs together. The fire sword is really nice to just take them down as fast as you can. And yeah, there's a lot of AoE damage, so it'll get all those, all those mobs that are like being kited by you really quickly. So another thing is, yeah, just keeping your distance, trying to, to keep your distance from these mobs uh, so that they can't get too close to you and actually damage you. The harder ones to get farther away, f like, the harder ones to kite are usually the, the, the ranged ones. The, um, that's what I usually try and focus before, unless there's a big boss that clearly is going to take a lot longer to kill kill everybody else around that you can easily get and then focus down the, the boss once there's not many um, following you but yeah I find I find it a lot easier with this build to, to kite the the melee mobs because obviously they're gonna be coming in for you and they're actually trying to get to you whereas the, the ranged mobs kind of just stay where they are and they don't really do much so or they don't really move much so so you just get bursted from them rather than being able to avoid all that damage and uh, by just running away from them but yeah what i try to do as you can see is just smash them with as many dual attacks as i can hit them with the electricity and fire if i want to um to burst them down or the other way around as well fire electricity also works really nicely and especially for big groups of mobs yeah the the, the dual electricity is really good once again here you see me engaging with the raptor mount and then just bursting them down with fire and the dual ability of fire air you can see that again here as well bam engage keep them all together dual ability fire air and just kite them all the way until they die basically Fire 2 and uh, Air 5 is also a really good combo. So as you can see here I was being focused by all these and I had to cancel the dual attack of Air Earth. Swap to Earth to get a bit more stability and get tankier. Heal in Earth and Water to, to get tankier as well. Um, in case you want to just go full damage, heal with your fire because that gives you a lot of might. And yeah, as you can see, I just swap to, to fire once I have them under control and keep on uh, bursting them with fire, fire, air and CCing them with like abilities like 4 from water and uh, some rock uh, walls and stuff like that. Here I got really low, but you know, that's one of the things of attacking with an, ele an elementalist against uh, such, such a large mob or large crowd. 
here you can see that I'm pulling in a bunch of uh, enemies from nearby. I start attacking the ones close by, which are later on I realize it's a bit of a mistake because that dude from far away is damaging me the entire time. keep on kiting these guys while I'm dodging his uh, main abilities as well, so I'm not losing too much damage. Um, or not too much health, I mean. And yeah, just keep on kiting them and dealing as much damage as you can. Heal in water here so I can get a bigger heal. And then swap to fire uh, swords so that I can just burst them down. The fire sword is also pretty good for just bursting down enemies, not only for like uh, just a large crowd of, of, of uh, enemies. And if you find that uh, you're having a hard time surviving with the fire sword, try out the the elemental. Um, because summoning an elemental might be really handy, especially if you put out uh, a, an earth one or a water one, because they'll they'll tank for you. You notice that I repick picked up the, the fire sword again, you can pick it up a second time, especially if you're soloing and no one picked it up. And then yeah, you can engage on, s on other mobs already with a fire sword and try and take advantage of that cooldown. And then as you can see after that, I just try and kite the enemies once again. It's pretty much the the bread and butter of this, uh, this build, is just trying to kite your enemies. Here this uh, elemental started running away, so I just focused the uh, this other dude here. And yeah, as, as you can see, it's a bit harder to, to do the normal combo against a ranged dude because he's just bursting me while I I keep my distance because, yeah, they're ranged. And all the CC combo doesn't really work on them, as you can see. I even missed um, that ability there, although it helped me get some, uh, some distance from that other rock dude thing that was coming about pop out the fire sword and just burst it down as fast as I can so that I don't die. Heal myself in fire since I have a lot of health already. I only need that extra might so I can get some more damage on. And yeah, just keep on bursting them with the fire sword. And you can tell you can tell the fire sword is going to run out when it starts flashing, so you can go and pick it up again. And yeah, you're ready for another engage basically because you got the fire sword once again, so you just go in, bam, fire, all the way. Also, I recommend when you're using number one fire sword, uh, the fire great sword, just uh, use it on the f on the enemy that's further away because it goes through enemies, um, so you can deal tons of damage, really. Um, even if you aim to the guy closest to you, it'll, it'll smash the people behind it. Um, so it, yeah, it just try and do that. Kite them with uh, 4 if you want as well from uh, fire which is really good to get some distance. Here you can see I, I keep him in the meteorite area, stun him with the air and then put some uh, uh, fire pool underneath. Keep him slowed so he doesn't uh, get close to me. I start getting attacked by this other dude. Dodge away. But yeah, all this time that Elemental is just slow trying to get me, he's not actually doing any damage, so you can see I can stay really healthy here. That's one of the reasons I really like this build, uh, is because, yeah, you can you can be dashing out tons of damage with fire or air, whilst keeping your distance with some earth or water spells. In this boss fight here as well, you see me outside the main boss area clearing out all the mobs, and yeah, then just using my uh, my range to attack the boss later on. But yeah, first off, clear all the, the little critters around it so that they don't focus you and deal a lot of damage for free. And then, once you're done with them, yeah, focus the, the big boss. You can see here I leave these two with like quite a lot, quite a low health bar. Uh, and they just keep on damaging me and damaging me. Pretty much free damage that I shouldn't be taking. You can see there, instead of taking the air heal, I swap to water really quickly after I cast the heal, because only once it, it is actually cast does it give you the bonus. So you can cast the heal and then swap to water right away, or earth if you want to be tank here. But basically that's a really good strategy there, because uh, I, like to, I to, like to heal, make sure the heal is coming through, and then while I'm healing, thinking, or right before I heal, think, of what I'm needing, you know, in that case I needed extra heal and extra health. Um, so yeah, I went for water 
It also gives me some nice EC and gives me the the healing rain as well. And then swap back to, to Earth and fire as well afterwards to burst it down. Keep it um, keep it a away from me and take advantage of all that range, really. Go back into the fight really far away. You can attack them from like miles away because you're, you're a staff elementalist. And yeah, just keep on bursting that down and helping your team out, basically doing all that damage. Here I noticed that the the that the boss wasn't really doing too much damage, so I would just use the, the fire sword and get up close, try and finish it off as fast as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, basically don't forget to use all the uh, dual abilities that you can and burst them down with fire and air as well as using your Q or in this case the fire sword um, for whenever you want to burst them down as fast as you can. And yeah, keep them away from you, kite them with some of those air, uh, earth and water abilities and you should be fine really. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below any thoughts, any criticism you might have of the, the video so I can improve the videos in the future of the channel and yeah, thanks very much for watching once again and I hope this video is useful especially to you Crowdraiser plays who requested it and yeah, don't forget to, to comment down below your thoughts and what what sort of things you'd like to see in the future of this channel because yeah I like to, to hear your feedback and I try to reply as much as I can as well especially as a somewhat recent channel um, I can take the the effort to look at every single comment so yeah don't forget to comment down and I'll be sure to reply thanks very much for watching don't forget to check out the other video if you like this build as well if you're intrigued about the gameplay and you haven't checked out that video I'll I'll drop it down in the description and yeah make sure you check it out because I like this build it gives you some nice CC gives you some nice power as well some damage uh, coming in and I like it especially for soloing if you're soloing Weaver if you're playing with other friends you can go a bit more uh, damage heavy but for soloing this has somewhat quite a nice uh, survivability so that's why I decided to make a video on this build this is the build I use so obviously there's many different ways to play this and yeah I'm no pro either so like this is just my thoughts on it how I play it and yeah feel free to let me know how you like it how you prefer to play the weaver any changes to the build if it's similar if it's completely different I'm really up for hearing your feedback and what builds do you like to use as well once again thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time